So the Picts are, are first mentioned in late Roman sources as these troublesome groups living north of the frontier and they go on to become these powerful series of kingdoms. But really finding Pictish sites archaeologically has always been quite challenging. don't know of any sites really of that scale in this time period um, so potentially it's one of the biggest um, settlements of this of this time period what was uh, equally surprising is that uh, there's hundreds of house platforms within that big fort um, previous surveys suggested something like 200 house platforms um, but our surveys using using the drones and, and the lidar survey uh, suggest there could be as many as 800. So a huge settlement inside this inside this fort. So we need to do more. Was you know was this a permanent settlement? Um, if so, it was you know reaching almost urban in scale uh, in terms of you know if you think about 800 house platforms. You know, at a minimum say four or five people per house. You're talking about you know 4,000 people or more potentially occupying the site, which you know in a in an early medieval in a Pictish period uh, context is is uh, is again really really exceptional and and very exciting to think about the the conglomerations of people really you know we hadn't thought of uh, settlements of that scale until we begin to get the early towns of the 12th century in Scotland or or even later so still lots of work to do in terms of piecing all the story together but it really underlines the, the exciting archaeology we have in that uh, valley at Rhine